In this video, I'll show you the differences between the articles a uh, and the. Use a uh for things that are not specific. These are general categories. Use the for things that are specific. These are specific categories. A uh is used for one thing. This is used for singular count nouns. The is used for singular and plural nouns. You can also use N. N is used for nouns that have a vowel sound. For example, I have an apple. I have to use N because of the vowel sound. I can't say a uh, apple. It's too hard to say. So, an apple. N sounds like the letter N. N. An egg. An orange. An umbrella. And if a word begins with a vowel sound, but the word is spelled with a consonant, such as H, then use N. N hour would be an example of this. This has a vowel sound here, and the H is silent. An indefinite article, such as a uh, or N, is used before a nonspecific noun. So this is a fairly general category. I have a bike. This is not specific. It could be any kind of bike. I have bike. This sounds pretty bad. You need to put an article here. I have a bike. This is any kind of bike if I use this type of article. I have an office. The word office begins with a vowel sound. This is an O sound. You could also use N if there's an adjective and then a noun. I have an old bike. Because of this adjective, I have to choose N. N old bike. So your choice of a uh or N is really based on the sound of the beginning of the word, whether it's a consonant sound or if it's a vowel sound. The word the is a definite article. It appears before singular and plural nouns. This is used for things that are specific. The bike I have is red. So this is very specific. It's one specific bike and it's red. The bike. You can also use this with plural nouns. The bikes I have are red. There's no article when the quantity or the quantity is indefinite. It might not take a particular form. This is made of copper. This is a substance and there's no article here. Don't say this is made of the copper. This is made of copper. We need oxygen to live. Again, don't use the here. It's not necessary because this is 
indefinite in terms of its quality or quantity. It is possible to use the sometimes with oxygen, but in a sentence like this, don't use it. Use the when you know there's only one of something, such as the sun, the moon, the galaxy, the universe. Use the with bodies of water. I'm going to the lake. Even though there are many lakes, we often just use the when going to a lake. I'm going to the lake, the ocean, the sea, the river. Use the with geographical formations such as the mountains, the desert, the prairie, which is a grassland, and the swamp, which is a combination of land and water. An alligator lives in the swamp. Use a for something you mention the first time. I bought a guitar. So in a conversation between you and me, I say that I bought a guitar. Following that, I can say the guitar. This is the second time I mention this in the conversation. So now you and I both know what I'm talking about the guitar was expensive. You know about it and I know about it. We both know about it and so I want to use the guitar. This is an important lesson. The lesson is on articles. This is the first mention of the lesson. So I say an important lesson. I have to use an because of the I in this adjective. And the second time I mention it, I'll use the. The lesson is on articles. You know about it and I know about it. We both know about it. So I'll choose the the second time I mention it. It takes time to learn how to use articles properly. The best way to learn about them is through reading and listening. Over time, you'll be able to tell the difference between a uh, and the or when an article is not needed, but it does take time.